Hip-hop since 1987, niggas. Hip-hop since 1987.com. Yo, yo, we back, man. This is another edition of Tapped In with Time Flies. Um, 2022, we off to a good start. Um, despite me only putting out, what is it, two episodes this year? Um, that's for a reason. A lot of niggas can't come up here. Um, it's very evident. Um, so when you see me in the studio, you know, it, it, it means something because I'm not just sitting down. Um, as compared to last year around this time, we had like five done certain people but uh i'm back um and i got this this guy with me who i feel like is uh on like a a, a meteoric rise right now in the city uh, i'm only next to the people who i feel like is on that type of that type of rise in the city um i told y'all uh a year ago with certain people i sat down with that when i you know if you see them talking to me i mean they on their way you know what i'm saying not saying i'm the i'm the i'm the key but you know you know i got the evidence to back that up but uh now nah, we here man um like I said, this guy's on on a uh, meteoric rise in the city. Uh, definitely, uh, this this the magic behind his his sound. It's not like anything you've ever heard from anybody else. There's another thing. You got your own sound. It's very distinctive, and you can't really put you in a box next to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so uh, we got D for him Sloan in the building. Mr. How you feeling, Dude, bro? How you feeling, man? Now he was telling me it's hard to kind of get you to sit down and talk to people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I appreciate that that you that you took the time out to come in and sit down, um, and just you know give me a lot of answers to the questions I've been asking myself. You know what I'm saying because I look yeah. up, I'm like I don't really see too many interviews and going on like. Yeah, for real. That, that's by choice. You just don't, you know. I, I just been I just been like dropping. I wanted to know about me. Just come see about me. Come listen to my music. You know, mm. that's how I've been. That's another way too. You want to hear me talk, nigga? Go stream that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? for real. I ain't mad at that, but just talk about how you feeling, man. How you feel, like you, you got a lot going on right now. Uh, definitely every every day, I feel like I'm 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 seeing something else from you or the shit playing from here or my my little cousin or my little brothers coming. They playing your shit. That was another thing why I'm like, cause my little brothers and them they they be pushing me like, man, you got to get with this person. This person popping, and I be like, Dah. I'm still like, I ain't old, mm -hmm. but I'm up there to the point where I'm like, I don't really want to hear these little young niggas sometimes, mm -hmm. but. My little brother and everybody like around me just come bring me to you or bring certain people to me. It's like I got to tune in, I got to tap in. But uh, yeah, just talk about how you feeling, man. Like just, just overall, like how everything going for you. I'm feeling great, man. You know, I'm, I'm going crazy right now. TikTok going crazy right now. I'm going crazy on TikTok. I just dropped a single called Swag Talk. That's going crazy right now on Apple Music. Yeah, on the top twenty five Philly charts. We've been sitting there for four weeks. Yeah, you know, going up, going down, going up. You know, <laughs> but we going crazy though. You know. It's, it's it's all the science. Now I want to talk about that. I want to talk about uh one just just your sound, right? Yeah. Like I said, you you got like a distinctive sound. Like whereas though, when you hear you, it's like you know I used to hear certain people, and it's like damn, this person kind of sound like X Y Z or whatever, whatever. It's like when you hear your shit, it's like nah, bro, sound like they sound like they can't like they you sound like Sloan. Like that was another thing. Why a couple years ago, how I first got put on to you mm -hmm. or whatever, it was like damn, like. I fuck with bro Sam because it's not whatever you know. It's, it's waves and shit that happen when, when in music. Like trends pop out, people kind of take from whatever's kind of popping and incorporate it with their own sound. Mm -hmm. When I first heard you, it was like, nah, this was slow then, and this is still slow now. You just worked at your craft and probably improved on everything. So just talk about like how you just went about like your own sound and not really trying to sound like anybody else. Like, cause I know it's hard to kind of do that nowadays. Cause you might hear something that worked for somebody else and it pop. You might want to play around with it, but you kind of just stayed the same. Like, how was that kind of just not adapting to like whatever else was going on? You just stayed yourself. Well, that's that's me and my brother, um, Skiano sound. You know, mm -hmm. we just we just be in the studio and we just create, like we real creative genius geniuses, mm -hmm. and we just go crazy in the studio. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. was it like any like? Uh, Cause I want to say like social media kind of play a lot into it too. Like social media is kind of like a highlight reel for everybody. Yeah, that's another thing. The way they react to our voice, they mm -hmm. love our voice. You know, it's the voice. Mm -hmm. It's like addicting to certain people. Yeah. You know, like our voice is addicting. Yeah, that shit. Like I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's very distinctive. You can't really compare y'all, put y'all in the box with nobody else. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like, I'm like, yeah, I got to make sure I, I stay I stay tapped in, stay in tune. Mm -hmm. So just talk about uh, beginning for you. Like just starting getting into music. Like, when when did you kind of realize like you know you you was fascinated with like kind of making music and to where as though you wanted to kind of take the shit seriously? 
Uh, I would say crowd reactions, like fan reactions, mm -hmm. like comments, seeing what people say, mm -hmm. you know, getting feedback from when I do drop music, you know, mm -hmm. that that just really play a big part. Yeah. Uh -huh. So was that like a uh, like how many how many years have you been doing it all together? Like as far as like just working at your craft and just making music. I started making music in um, 2014. Mm -hmm. I made my first song mm -hmm. with my brother Tamir and Gotti. They both passed away. Okay. I started making music with them, and then when my brother Tamir passed away. We created a group called mm -hmm. D4M. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah. Was your your first song right when you you still got the first song you made? Or is yeah, it still it's available? It's on SoundCloud. When you go back and listen to it, you kind of like, damn, like I was went from here and now. Yeah, you know, it's a hell of a transition. Hell man. of a transition, right? Hell of a transition. How was that? What was was you like kind of inspired by anybody else when you when you first went into the studio? Because I know you you might have went in there knowing like I want to make music like to like you know what I like you know to my interests or whatever. But like, was you like inspired by anybody when you first went in the studio and decided to like kind of you know play around with it, or you just was like I'm just going fucking. Well, when it. I first started really taking it serious, yeah, I was inspired by my brother Tamir. Okay, because he died, he loved us as a dream. This is a dream. Mm -hmm. He loved it. So it was an in-house thing. It wasn't like no it was other an like, thing. Yeah, no other artists and nothing we like that. each other. Yeah, right, right. That's how we should be too. That's how it should be. Because I want to say y'all wave. Um, last artists I had up here, I kind of like it's in this city. We kind of get people that pop out every now and again and they wave is kind of like a it's like damn it's undeniable to mm -hmm. the fact where, where it's like it take it's like a citywide takeover type thing mm -hmm. i feel like y'all wave was kind of like that to where it's like damn who is these like if you heard them it's like yo, who is these niggas like you, you can't go anywhere and not hear y'all see y'all somewhere you can't, you right know. how do you how you feel like y'all wave uh like how how was that kind of just living in that moment like knowing like damn like this the city really city really fucking with us like we was going viral with every little yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. Every little thing. <laughs> Even we playing around little snippets on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Every little thing. So we just, and we seen how how it went throughout the city, how crazy it was going. And we just kept going, you know. Yeah, yeah. So when you, when you, first, when you first decided to, that you wanted to kind of like make music how was like the reaction from like did you get support from like your peers like friends a lot family people, yeah my friends and family they, they supported a lot of people like like on social media mm. a lot of people loved it but a lot of people was like joking about it you know yeah like like laughing like man like why y'all saying like that why y'all stuttering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's another thing too see people you, it's it's great that you uh excuse me stay authentic though because a lot of shit like that that's why i always ask that question too because you might get you know friends and family it's not well not friends more so family mm -hmm. because it's not like your typical you know i don't want to be a fucking doctor you know what i'm saying i want to rap you know what i'm saying i want to fucking wear chains i want to do all do all this type of shit rappers do i want to live that lifestyle but you know family they kind of you know parents however they kind of be like man i don't really see it for you like you know this and that whatever whatever so i know kind of it'd be hard to kind of stay the course to where though you want to really like Stay yeah, tapping my mom music. seen it though, you know. Uh, my mom she was seen with it. it. Yeah, she seen it. You know, my teacher seen it. They seen how it was people coming up to my classroom trying to take pictures with me. You know, mm -hmm. and they wanted me to do homeschool like my principal. And, but it started going so crazy. It was just like mm -hmm. it was undeniable for them. Mm -hmm. They couldn't deny it. You know, my mom. I'll be with my mom's around public and she'd see people asking to take pictures with me. Mm -hmm. That's how that went. So yeah, imagine that. Imagine me in high school, <laughs> not going to do this. Like what? Yeah, had niggas ever been to high school? You know what type of vibe be the chicks be? Man, <laughs> yeah, we ain't homeschooling who? No, we going every day. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never missing a day. But uh, yeah, so that so that was it. Like so, if, as far as your friends and too, like, I know y'all said it was like an in house thing where all y'all was kind of doing the same vibe. Was it kind of like they sub like because all y'all could be popping at one time, right? And it yeah. wasn't like a let's focus on. Slow on. Let's focus on this person. Let's it was all like a like everybody just shared the rapping too though. It was a lot of us rapping, you know. Like it was me, mm -hmm. my brother um, Ski, mm -hmm. Sim, Tasmania, mm -hmm. Gotti, Hugo. You know, it was a lot of us. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was a few of us who like that city know about. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. But that was that raging. was that was one of the things too when I seen when 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 y'all first got into the music scene too, or at least here, it was like a like what. Probably more so the the general public probably put probably more so put on from from uh, Sim, mm -hmm. and it was like, but how he kind of just promoted y'all and pushed y'all too at the same time, like because when his song was popping, going crazy, it was like, nah, but these my 
these my guys too. Like you know what I'm saying, like I'm gonna make sure I put y'all in front of these places or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was like damn, like that that's kind of dope to see. Like, cause typically we get the people that you know they like want to share the spot, like don't want to share the spot, like or you know want to be in that position and just you know it's mm-hmm. all mine or whatever. But I didn't really get that type vibe from when I first seen everything that was going on, like which was was crazy, but. I also want to know about like just like I said we talked about just the the impact that y'all had. Do you think like that other people or other artists are kind of like uh, trying to adapt your sound or kind of take from your sound? Like do you kind of hear that going on? I've been hearing that since I first started. You know? I ain't want to say it, y'all. <laughs> I ain't want to say I it, but that's not first started. <laughs> I'm real humble. I don't say nothing though. You know, just do me and get swag. You know. <laughs> <laughs> listen, but no, we gotta be listen, and it's yeah. not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying yeah. it's not yeah, a bad thing. Bad thing. They even called me humble. Like, I don't say nothing, <laughs> bro. They, they they say the same thing about me, bro. I don't like, say nothing. You won't hear me say nothing. Mm-hmm. Which which is not always a it's not always a bad thing too. Like I said, you that means you inspiring the next person. Yeah, that's basically yeah, that's basically what I call it. You know, I'm inspiring. You know, but in the same instance, it's, it's certain people that where you can kind of tell, like, then that nigga sound like this person, you know what I'm saying? But then niggas be like, oh, I don't really listen, we don't even rock with them tight. It's like, bro, we ain't, come on now. Like, we can tell. Like, we, we need to get more niggas out there. Start paying homage. Like, yeah, just basically, pay homage, that's all. Basically all this. But that's, like I said, well, when I hear certain people, I'll be like, damn, well, this nigga song just was going crazy on this. So it makes sense for this person to kind of, I want to take from what he's doing or whatever, like go in the studio and create type like your type of music or your type of sound. So it ain't a bad thing. Y'all niggas need to just start paying homage though. Like we just going to put that out there. He ain't going to yeah. say it because he humble. Yeah. I'm going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Start fucking paying homage to people like that. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but so yeah. your wave though right now, like t- how was, well, I want to say like just when, because you got your sounds on TikTok going crazy, right? Yeah, super. How like how did it go into like creating those specific sounds? Like was you was it you really just on some I'ma really work on this or just on some I'm just playing around, just you know. I really make music. Like I'm in the studio all day. I'm like a marketing genius, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm in the studio just creating yeah, all fuck day. The humble shit. Yeah, yeah. Genius. So I, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I'm in the studio and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm seeing TikTok though, like, you know, I'm seeing TikTok and I'm seeing people just like dancing on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing who created what dance? Da, yeah. da, da. So I dropped, I dropped, I've been dropped the party song though, you know, mm-hmm. like 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 2019, mm-hmm. you know, in February, so like that. I, but I we, TikTok wasn't around, baby. I don't yeah. know if it was around. It, 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 it wasn't, wasn't as big yeah, as it was. It wasn't was as now. big as it, it was, wasn't you know. As big. But yeah, and I just start, I just start dropping on TikTok, you know. Mm-hmm. And I see how people be going crazy to my my sound period, like even before that, like my voice and stuff like that. And yeah, it just start going Cause crazy. Because for me, it just like from from my perspective, it just looked like you just. Like we just sitting here and you just decide to pick your phone up and just be like, uh, throw a beat on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you just start you just start rolling, you yeah, know what I'm saying? And I can and I can and I can like I can make any beat mm-hmm. like with my voice and ad lib, you know? Yeah, that's another thing too. So the, it don't just be you no know, the beat. Yeah. It, it's how I'm gonna flow on it. You yeah, know? cause you you doing you you got you got the sounds you make mm-hmm. in between you also rapping and saying it. That's why I'm like it's so distinctive where it's like other niggas ain't people ain't really doing this. Like Yeah, if you people, see my studio process, you can be like God damn, like, nigga! You know, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, nope. like, I can imagine. Crazy. I can imagine how. So, so what? Uh, how was that like reaching like the the the? Because you still living in it. You still in the moment. Like it, mm-hmm. it ain't over. Like it's, you yeah. still you haven't even oh, reached I ain't the peak seen yet. Nothing yet. You hear me? You, know, trust <laughs> me. you ain't even, you ain't even hit the <laughs> peak oh, yet. Slime. How has it been like just living in it, seeing like basically like other people just enjoy what what you creating? Like how like how has that been just living in the moment and seeing that damn people really. Everybody really fucking I love with it. it. I love it. I love it. You know, I love to see how the kids love it. They yeah. love dancing and and really coming together. You know, it's, it's it's not it's more positive. Yeah, it's more positive and it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's more positive though. It's swag. I call everything swag. You, uh-huh. you hear me say that word a lot. Uh-huh. It's swag. You know, I, I like it. No, it is though. It is. I want to say like yo, like you a part of the wave right now where I see it. I'm I'm real big on the youth and. I got a real good ear for music. Like you know what I'm saying, I ain't as humble either. My ear for music is up there. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when I kinda hear the the like I said, me and you spoke off camera, we was talking about the the uh you working with Dice or Sturdy or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. That y'all got a record or whatever coming. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you part of that kind of wave where it's like, yo, the, when you look at them, you look at what they doing, it's just fun. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just y'all making music that you wanna make. Like mm-hmm. you're not going in there and trying to I'm gonna do what this person doing or I'm gonna take what that person doing. It's like, no, you, you, this person is that person, that person, and y'all just coming together and creating the same. Yeah, shout out to everybody in that way. They all going crazy, you know? Yeah. All yeah. of them, you know, two rares, I saw Dice. 
all of them on the way they all going crazy you know? all of them and it, and it, i'm glad to see that because i like i'm i'm a real big advocate for like artists like y'all in the city where it's like nah i mean even though we really don't have no type of representation here in the city that kind of can do better at shedding light on y'all mm-hmm. thankfully we got the internet and tiktok i need to get on tiktok more probably i just don't do the dancing shit mm-hmm. but i probably fuck around with it uh <laughs> We need we we don't have no representation here that kind of can look out and kind of put y'all on like a certain pedestal or a certain platform. So I make sure when I see it, mm-hmm. and I try to catch it before it happens. I be like, no, we are gonna make sure, pay attention to this person. I mean, he going crazy or that person they going crazy. And I go and, and y'all all speak highly of each other. Like I said, I had rare up here, I had dice, I had the goats up here. Everybody speak highly of each other. Like I'm saying, I call rare and say, hey, yo, I got such and such coming up, or I call sturdy like I got such and they be like, man, that's my he, he on some shit. Like I'm saying, like I I really fuck with it. So. That aspect too, I really like seeing y'all all support each other. You know what I'm saying? Like that's something I don't think I haven't seen in a minute as far as in Philly. Like, yeah, for sure. So that's something I, I I definitely like I like seeing. So talk about just um just just well first of all I wanna know we seen you on Bel Air and shit. <laughs> right? Yeah. How how was that how was that or landing that role on there? How how did that go for you too? How did it happen? Or how, yeah, like how well, did all it of go it, like, after how, it how it happened and after you can, we can do you mean? Uh, uh, um, my casting agent mm-hmm. DM me, you know, mm-hmm. and, and I happened to be on my Instagram early in the morning, mm-hmm. going to my request, and she DM me just at that direct time. You know, I wasn't promoting music or nothing like that. I usually like go on Instagram early in the morning, promote, yeah, post a few videos, and then I'm, you know, yeah, catch yeah, as yeah. many videos as I can. A lot of them, like I get like at least twenty five, mm-hmm. but I seen her DM me. But you know, and, and I um I responded because I seen a uh, somebody a cast agent DM me before, and I and I never responded until uh-huh. like two months later. Uh-huh. It was like for like a um a rap a rap and um rhythm and flow. Okay, oh the Netflix joint. Netflix, yeah. All right, yeah. and I missed it. It was like two months later, you know. So I, I caught that right there, and I DM'd her back. Mm-hmm. You know, I sent her my representation. She emailed my manager, sent over the the script, like half the script, mm-hmm. and everybody had to send in like a, a self audition tape. Mm-hmm. So I, I did a self audition tape. Okay, okay. I turned it in the same day, and they got right back with us. Was that was that did that experience make you want to start acting more or the you acting experience? Doing? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Not make me. I am. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. I, I I listen, bro. I feel like I'm. I cut it off. I'm watching. I'm like, what made what made me so happy about seeing that? It was like, damn, they really actually went and got people from the area you know what i'm saying yeah. so we ain't gotta force the johns and we ain't gotta force the slang because mm-hmm. you know when they when they kind of do like stuff like that or like they got people that bring in actors or whatever that ain't typically from here mm-hmm. and it just be shit i'm like yo we don't even talk like that like mm-hmm. everywhere i'll be like yo we don't even like niggas don't even we don't go eat a cheesesteak every day like oh all day like breakfast lunch dinner it's like yeah get some real fully people involved so they can get on and we can actually see like that's why i'm like oh yeah cool all right i see what they doing they got slow i'm like they go they got easy I'm like, all right, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm yeah. cool with, I'm cool with them nigg- niggas doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they, they really was highlighting Philly culture, though. Philly, like more than just Philly culture, though. a lot of like black culture. Yeah. So they really did their thing, though. You know. Yeah, there are a lot of people in the freeway too. Yeah, shout, yeah, shout to Bel Air, man. I'm, I'm at first I was kind of like I didn't really watch the full episode for all the way through the first time, so I'm like, man, I gotta see how this shit go. But I went back to <laughs> it, and my girl be watching it, so now it's like, I'm, you mean I'm, I'm, I'm tapping in. So, yeah, man, man. how was that after the fact? Like after it came out, like. It, it went crazy Like mm. I, I, My gram was going crazy That whole week <laughs> You know And I had just posted A, a TikTok snippet too To a new song Drive who crazy So all that em- And emotion was Yeah that's going, definitely Going to get into that next Was going crazy That whole week You know mm. I see people in my comments All day long Like man darn Why you throw the ball That well <laughs> crazy at me All day long like, I'd be reading my comments On TikTok It's like that People don't know Because you know On TikTok is different like, Yeah People yeah. from all over See you Even if they don't follow you you ask me why I throw the ball at Will all day long, you know. Yeah, what you mean, nigga? Because it's how we... They hate me. They hate me. <laughs> they hate they you hate for that? Yeah, they Listen, hate without me. you, you wouldn't have went to... Yeah. You mean? Auntie and Uncle and Bel-Air. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you was the key to the whole origin. If we want to <laughs> be technical, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but, yeah, yeah no. So, t- talk about uh, Drive Who Crazy. Like, so... That... I feel like that in itself is going to be like... It's already a moment, right? Yeah, that's going crazy. Are you planning on releasing like an actual record to that or doing something like that? It's dropping the thirtieth, the thirtieth this month. Oh, uh, this month. Yeah, we got a listening party, uh, LA. Okay. It's about to go crazy. So yeah, that that record going crazy right now. All right, they gonna hold you to that too, the people, the fans. They going dropping the thirtieth. <laughs> they month. gonna hold you to that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. So yeah, so 
I feel like I feel like that record too, because like I said, like we we gonna keep pointing back to the whole city of Philly. We got two rare going crazy with the Cupid. Mm -hmm. We got Sosa and Sturdy with Shake That. Mm -hmm. We got Sloan with Drop. It's just like everywhere you turn around, it's like damn. We it's and also we got five starting with uh and Lay Banks. I damn think of the record, but you know what I'm talking about. Every, everywhere I turn around was like, well, damn, we got the city, got that, the city, got that. It's like, damn, we on some on a wave. It's like, man, these niggas undeniable. Like, mm -hmm. it's undeniable. Like, so, listen, man, shout out to, shout out to the whole city, man. I'm just gonna keep shot relating back to the whole city because that's just that's just what we doing. You know said, yeah. talk about how, how what's in the future for you as far as like um, projects though, like any albums or how everything looking as far as like an actual body of like music, like. I'm gonna put this like in the coolest way. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep dropping. I'm gonna keep dropping like singles okay. right now, but I'm gonna just keep giving swag. I'm gonna say to make, make to sure you word swag. the right way because they're gonna be like, man, I'm you should keep dropping <laughs> April third. I'm dropping April thirtieth. No, um, um, March thirtieth. March thirtieth. For Drabble Crazy. I'm dropping Drabble Crazy March thirtieth. That's the next drop, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna keep giving swag wherever swag need to be given. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna put it like that. Yeah, <laughs> I like how you worded that because that mean they can't take none of that and say I said anything. You yeah. mean about when something was actually dropped? Yeah, because drop I usually be like, they they know. <laughs> yeah, you know they don't play around, bro. Yeah, yeah, Niggas don't, don't play, play around. around. Yeah. They they gonna let you know. Like, all right. So as far as what's 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 next for I feel like because is 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 you and then it's like the rest of like the 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 people around you. Like, is there anybody else you feel like is is on the next or on 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 their way up or whatever? Or like anybody next to you feel like it's kind of like yeah, we popping out. Yeah, Tasmania. Uh huh. Hugo, Tito, they coming. Okay, okay. Another thing I wanted to ask you too, um, that I'm gonna ask this, which is um, left field, because I, I got a, I got an uh, episode coming up too with some people from City Council. Uh, we sitting down, kind of just figure out how we can do stuff as far as um, better within the city with more programs and just like gun violence and stuff like that. How you feel like? Do you feel like the music right now that's trendy has anything to kind of do with? Or is it like adding to like the the fire with like as far as gun violence and stuff like that? Or you feel like it's just it's just what it is. Say it again. Like as far as like, do you feel like a lot of I was talking to like some city council people, right? Mm -hmm. And it was like kind of like trying to blame the music, like as far as like the rap music or whatever. Kind of like man, the rap music is like adding fire to like the gun violence like part of this. Like, do you feel like the music is is a bad thing? Like, do you feel like it's a bad thing in the city? No, mm -hmm. not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's so much stuff going to say I can't even tell you, you know? Right, I, right Yeah I feel like I, I I would agree with you Because I feel like that's, It's like that anywhere yeah, like it's, like you, that, it's like that anywhere Everywhere you Yeah know? you go to Any city And somebody from that city Going to tell you like Nah it's like that here too Like yeah. we just We just live here So we don't see it as much As you know over there Or whatever So yeah that's just like that's I just had to get A rapper's opinion Because I feel like a lot of times they'll probably try to put y'all on like a point the finger like oh this cuz of this and it's like no like no not really these guys are having fun creating music that's out of if i'm over here i'm doing this you see me on tv you see yeah. me whatever whatever I yeah, I ain't, make, we, making music yeah, feed their families everybody right. exactly feed their families and like get in better positions you know? exactly exactly and that's that's really all that matters so i'd be like man but they need a voice like me in there to kind of tell them like man i got it because a lot of these people don't really understand where we come from because i'm in the same bracket as y'all like where we all come from the same kind of environment and it's like mm -hmm. they need people like that in there to kind of say like oh well this where the best way to understand us is to get it get it from people like us you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah, y'all heard it too. Like I didn't already said it, but we getting more evident. That's like, listen, bro, mm -hmm. that's just niggas just trying to put their family on, provide for their family. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And have you seen the women that's out here, bro? Like niggas ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just what it is. But yeah, so anything, anything else we want to talk about that that we got dropping or anything else coming soon? I know you just said March 30th, but just to reiterate one more time before. I go ahead and and and, and let y'all go, or so they won't hold me to nothing, cause they be in, they be in my DMs and shit too, man, telling me like, man, mm -hmm. such and such, like that pussy a dry who crazy <laughs> on slime. I am not you, baby. I ain't something you should lie to, baby. Hump at one done by two, baby. Facts, facts. <laughs> we dropping March thirtieth, you know. Go yeah, go grab that, you know. Go grab that. All platforms, we coming. Yeah, that's too. That's down. that's too. Well, listen, bro. Appreciate you for stopping by, dropping in with me, and rapping with me, bro. Down. Like, we definitely gonna make sure. I don't know if I got the invite to the to the listening party, but you know what I'm saying? You're LA. I'm gonna have to shoot the DM. <laughs> <laughs> I just came from LA. I ain't never mad about going back. Yeah. It was a little chilly out there when I went. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, 
I ain't never mad at going back. But yeah, mm-hmm. once again, bro, appreciate you for coming through. Yeah, if you don't you know this man already, listen, Tom, I'm stamping it. Like I said, he one of the next in our area. Fuck even in the area. In the world, you know. Globally. I'm coming. Like, I don't, really, I don't really put that on too many people. You know I mean? Like, mm-hmm. really. Like, I want y'all to tap in and tune in and make sure y'all support what he got going on. Most and he like I say you from the area, bro. I'm always supporting. If you from here, man, we we it's up, two bro. months from now, just watch. <laughs> from Sloan, yeah. You so say a month from now, two months from now, a month from now, in between that break, they gonna say yeah. So yeah, you tap in with that. time flies. Stay tuned and keep streaming, keep subscribing. Um, I can't tell y'all when I'll be back because I'm a busy person, bro. <laughs> in all honesty, but uh, yeah, appreciate y'all and we we tapping out.